Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have a smart Samsung TV. And a lot of you are purchasing new uh, smart TVs and Samsung is a really good choice to purchase. But with the smart TVs, you have a lot of options with apps and you might be asking yourself, well, how do I download these apps? How do I use these apps, etc." Well, today I'm gonna show you how to download apps for Samsung smart TV. So we're already in the app screen uh, of the Samsung TV, but uh, I kind of want to back up to kind of show you where I started from. Now, uh, you might have your uh, Samsung remote. It may look a little bit like this or a little bit different. Either way, you want to find the home button and press the home button. And when you do, you'll see a bunch of apps there on the bottom of the screen. And you can kind of move them around just like that. Now these are the apps that I've already downloaded for my particular TV. And so uh, we kind of want to add a new app today. And so to do that, I'm just going to kind of scroll all the way to the left. As you can see, it's just kind of scrolling to the left. And I'm going to eventually hit something that is called apps. Um, let's see, you can see it right there. And so I'm just going to uh, select that and that will actually bring me to the screen that you see right here. Okay, so when you're on the apps main page here, you could just kind of scroll around and see if there's anything that you may want to add to your apps. So now some of these apps are, are free. Uh, some of them require subscriptions, so uh, that's something that you may want to consider. But there's Editor's Choice there, uh, some popular ones. Here's the downloaded apps that I already have downloaded, and some of them are on my menu bar when I hit the home page down or home bar down here, and some of them aren't. I'll show you how to add or subtract those. And then there's uh, some there group content, some genres, etc. What I'm interested in is uh, perhaps the videos section. So I could hit videos there and you can see all the potential apps uh, related to the videos. Uh, one of them is the HBO Max right there. And I'm kind of interested in getting that app on my, on my TV. Okay, so with HBO Max highlighted, we just hit our little select button on our remote and there you go, it brings you to the install screen and you can install it right here. So we could just hit this button and it'll start installing HBO Max app. Okay, so with it installed, it asks you, uh, do you want to open it, add, uh, add to home page? Uh, let's get out of the upper, so I'm just gonna back. So it asks you, do you want to open it? Unfortunately, with HBO Max, you do have to uh, subscribe to the service, so we won't do that right now. But I kinda wanna add it to the home home uh, page right now or the home bar which is on the bottom of the screen and so uh, I'm just going to hit that and you can see all the apps that I have down there you now see HBO Max kind of hovering there and it's kind of hovering there because you it wants to know kind of where in your uh, world of apps do you kind of want to have it placed so I'll put it right next to Disney Plus right there uh, hit my select button and there you go. HBO Max app is installed and on your home bar at the bottom. Now, if you're if you don't want the HBO Max on your home bar on the bottom, you could always there's a little kind of arrow right below the little um, icon right here, and you can just hit downward, and it gives you an option of move or re or remove. So if you hit move. It will again, uh, here let me do that again. If you hit move, it will, you can move it, uh, the icon around on your home bar right there. But if you go down and hit remove, it will remove it from your home bar. And it, it asks you to confirm and you just hit remove and it's, and it's gone. But just because the app is removed from your home bar doesn't mean it's removed from your TV. Now if we go back to our, uh, our main app page, oops, let's just get out of there, and go up to our downloaded apps, you can see it's still there and it's, it's still downloaded on our TV. If you want the app removed completely from your TV, 
what you need to do is go up to kind of the little settings uh, uh, crank, crank symbol up here and so we'll just uh, go up there real quick and so it hits settings right there so we hit settings button and this basically shows all our uh, downloaded apps and when we highlight over uh, HBO we could add it to our home button or our home uh, bar again we could lock it unlock it etc move it uh, or we could just delete it and when we delete it from the settings screen there it will be deleted from our TV. Now even though it's deleted from your TV you can still reinstall it and so we're going to reinstall it a different way than we did before. So we're going to go back and this time instead of going down the menus and trying to find where the HBO Max icon is so we can download it, uh, if you look on the uh, upper right hand corner right near the crank there's a little magnifying glass and so we're just going to uh, go there and it says app search so we're just going to go and actually search out for the HBO Max so we're going to just hit H B O and we don't even have to type it all the way out it's already kind of popped up so we're just going to go up there hit there and hit install once again and it will just basically install it just like it did before and ask us do we want to open it do we want to put it to our home page etc and so we'll just go ahead and put it back to our home page and then just stick it at the end there and there you go HBO uh, Max is back on our home page and you can do this with all the uh, apps that are available with with the Samsung smart TVs. And there you go, in a nutshell, that is how you install and delete apps from your smart Samsung TV. So I hope this video helped you out and if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I will have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.